Let's look at how we can use geolocation in our Angular app. I will start off by calling the get current position on the geolocation object that's contained within the navigator. Next, rather than access navigator directly, I'm going to inject the window service into my controller. The window service is just an alias for the window object. This is useful because it makes it an explicit dependency in this controller. Next, I will log the position object to the console just so we can see that it is working. In my template, I have already set up two data binding expressions for latitude and longitude, but I haven't assigned these values to scope yet, so these will be empty for now. So let's pick out the latitude and longitude values from the position object and assign these values to our scope. Let's go ahead and remove this console.log statement. Now if we view this in the browser, you'll notice that the latitude and longitude are not showing up on the page. The reason is because the geolocation service is an asynchronous request that happens outside of the Angular context. Angular hasn't performed its dirty checking process to see if data has changed and needs to be updated in the UI. We can manually trigger this using scope.apply. By setting our values to scope within this apply function, we can be sure that our data bindings will update. Let's wait for it to load, and great, looks like it's working now. Now if you want to learn more about how Angular data binding works, I highly suggest you read this article. It goes into much detail about how watch, apply, and digest work, and it'll explain some of the Angular vocabulary.